Um, at the beginning of the trailer, um, there's a description of you having an explorer's heart. Oh, well, I guess I just wanted to, I didn't want to live the life of getting married and having children and, and not having seen the world, so I wanted to see giraffe in Africa. And I've gone to, uh, to uh, uh, America and seen a giraffe there, and it was in a zoo, and it was very, very tall. I was three years old, and I looked up at him and thought, this is wonderful, I must go and learn more about them. And of course, most children often do that, but I really meant it. <laughs> That's what happened. How was it for you then as a scientist, female researcher working in the field? It was, um, well, it was, it was perfect working in the fields, but in, in the field and seeing what giraffe did, and, and I did that for a whole year and enjoyed it thoroughly. But then when you come back and, and try as a woman to be, have a good career as well, at the time, they just decided, well, no, we'll, we, three universities just said, no, we don't want ever to have a woman if we can avoid it. So that, that was very disappointing. And what, you, what did you do with those challenges at the time? Well, at the time, I just uh, kept on writing papers and books, and I was allowed to work part-time. So I could work with students part-time, but not get any um, decent pay and not be on the, you know, on the record as doing much. <laughs> it was so depressing. And the students were just a, a balanced of male and female. You were not. You weren't allowed to be a full time. Yeah. Well, it, was, it wasn't just me. It was women in general. So they they just thought they didn't really want women. <laughs> and with with working in the field as a female researcher scientist, you say that it was fine in the field. Oh, it was fine, and uh, it would be equally good, I'm sure, for men. But. This bias was just so very annoying at the time, as you can imagine. And what were the challenges for you both? I mean, we, we know what the challenges were when you got back, but the challenges for you when you were in the field? Uh, well, there, there was nothing to do with men or women. It was just a question of um, looking at drafts. So every day I'd get up and, and have breakfast and then go out for, to lunch and then go out again till dinner and watch them for about eight hours a day, and then make notes on everything they did. It was a wonderful, wonderful, although it sounds rather boring, it was really very exciting. Did you name your giraffes much like Jane did with her chimps? Well, yeah, the, for the few that I all, often saw, but then new giraffe would come in and then they'd go out again, so it was a little tricky. But it was very nice to see ones you really recognize, and, and I guess maybe they recognized me too, which would, would have been... How would you say things have changed now? Oh, things are wonderful now. There are whole schools of people. They call them the giraffe science people. And then they, some work in Africa, some work in zoos. They're making all sorts of exciting discoveries. And make I did another book later on in, in 2014. And then since then, there have even been more things that have been found out. It's, it's just wonderful how um, things are advancing. Just in regards to the challenges when you came back to Canada uh, with your male colleagues. Could you tell us a bit about that? Well, when I came back to Canada, I really wanted to be, I had, you know, I'd written a paper that was really important and I wanted to be a professor. Why not? My husband was a professor, my father was a professor, and, and I knew I could, and I'd been working part times. So I kept on working part time, and, I, and, I, and the students liked what I did, and we, I took them out on, and then it came to the point where I had to be given tenure, which meant that I would have it. Um, the, the, uh, um, <laughs> I could be a, pre a professor for my whole life. And they said, no, 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 women couldn't be a professor. Well, they wouldn't say that. They would just make sure that none of them became professors in the three areas I lived in where I could have worked with draft. So that was just incredibly discouraging.